NCW Life Channel Sports is proud to bring you the following presentation. 14 for good. Big, big bucket for Eastmont. Tonight's broadcast is brought to you by Abby's Pizza, Biosports Physical Therapy, Clean Connection, Coldwell Banker Cascade, Confluence Health, Dick's Heating and Air Conditioning, Global Car Care, Harvest Valley Pest Control, Highlander Golf Course and Grill, Kennedy Real Estate Group, Les Schwab, Sangster Motors, Save Mart, Together For You, and TC Slingers. Now let's go to the gym for live coverage of high school sports on your local TV station, the NCW Life Channel. Sean Garth with the drive and the shot nice and the shot to the basket. Hello, sports fans, and welcome to game number two of our doubleheader tonight here on the NCW Live channel. Game number two, it's the Sunnyside Grizzlies and the Eastmont Wildcat boys on the floor, and this should be a very interesting matchup. Sunnyside comes in with an overall record of four and seven, Eastmont five and four overall, but boy, there are lots of similarities between these two teams. The biggest one being experience. Both teams bring back lots of starters from last year, and both teams like to shoot the ball and like to get it up and down the court. So this should be a very entertaining game. Hope you stick around and check out Eastmont and Sunnyside coming your way. But coming up next, we have a visit with head coach George Juarez of the Eastmont Wildcats as our pregame show continues right after this. You've got a lot to do today. While you're out and about, Remember to dispose of your unused medications safely and anonymously. It's a simple act that makes your home a safer place. Next time you're at the pharmacy, just place them in the drop box. To find a location, visit medproject.org. We were in Roseburg in the early 80s. Our oldest son, Dan, was a defensive back, a starter on that team. They set, in fact, became Oregon State champions, setting the first undefeated 14-0 season in Oregon's history. And a lot of people were losing jobs. Friends had left the community. It was a hard time. That football team and companies like Abby's kept that place alive and the community spirit alive. That's legendary. Pre-game show continues now as we are joined by Eastmont Wildcat head coach George Juarez. And coach, first of all, thanks for being with us as always. Oh, I'd love to be here. Okay, we're done. Where else would I be? Right. <laughs> Where else would you want to be, right? right? We're done with non-league games. We're pretty much through the holiday tournaments. Now it's the meat of the league schedule. How do you like where you're sitting right now? I said this last time. You must be in my locker room or something. Because <laughs> I did talk about this is league. Things get serious here. We must be much, much more focused. We must do things extremely well when we get into league. So that was my uh, pregame a little bit. And you know, Coach, by doing your games and Sunnyside games these last few years, it looks like very similar teams here tonight. You've both got size. You both like to get it up and down the floor. And you both got good shooters. So how do you stop a team like Sunnyside? You know, it's interesting. I don't know if you ever stop. It's a team, and I've always said that it's not the best team that wins. It's a team that plays the best. And we've been fortunate over the years to play a little bit better. All our games against Sunnyside have been extremely close. and But we've been on the positive end. But uh, I don't I don't know how we stop them. We just do the best we can and uh, play a little bit better than them. Coach, best of luck as always, and thanks for joining us. Thank you very, very much. All right, we have the tip. Sunnyside and Eastmont when well, we come back on the NCW Life Channel. Stay with us. The agents of Kennedy Real Estate Group are committed to providing the ideal client experience. We believe in the power of relationships. Why? Because we don't just work here, we live here. From the nonprofits we serve, the parks where we play, and the local businesses we support, our team understands the value of living in the Wenatchee Valley. Let's begin your real estate story. Are you dealing with a pest or weed issue and you just don't know what to do? We use the best pest control methods approved for areas with kids and pets. Whether it's rats, mice, ants, or spiders, or something else altogether. We provide the coaching and solutions you're looking for. 
and you can know that your dollars are supporting a local, family-owned and operated business. Allow us to help you get back to living healthy and pest-free. Harvest Valley Pest Control. And welcome back courtside. Grant Olson with you as we prepare for game number two of our doubleheader tonight between the Sunnyside Grizzlies and the Eastmont Wildcats. If you didn't catch game number one of our doubleheader, it was all Sunnyside girls in the first game, defeating Eastmont by a final of 64 to 24. This game is going to be a competitive one, folks. You just heard the interview with Coach George Juarez. Sunnyside comes in with a 2-1 and one league record. Eastmont at 1-1. One and one. Sunnyside is 4-7 and seven overall on the season, and Eastmont is 5-4. and four. Eastmont, their fourth game in a row here at home, and they're hoping home cooking doesn't so good and they go three and one in this four game stretch here at Eastmont High School. The last time Eastmont played they did go down to defeat that was before Christmas as they played U High out of Spokane and lost that one in a thriller by a final of 70 to 69. Uh, meanwhile Sunnyside they just played on December 30th a uh, tournament over in Fort Vancouver they played Heritage High School and did win that one by a final of 82 to 52. Let's take a look now at tonight's start lineups and they're brought to you by TC Slingers. Let TC Slingers save you time, money, and labor with their conveyor application. Call for your free estimate today, 885-2269. TC Slingers of Wenatchee, your landscape placement company. Starting lineup tonight, first for the visiting Sunnyside Grizzlies, Jaden Brionis, a junior at 6'1", gets the start tonight, along with Max Garcia. He's a senior at 5'10". Brent Maldonado, and this is the player Eastmont has really got to pay attention to tonight, a four-year starter for these Grizzlies, 6'1", senior. Jaden Sains, signs, I should say say he gets the start tonight only a freshman looking forward to seeing what this kid has 5'8 freshman and rounding out the starting lineup for the Sunnyside Grizzlies 6'2 senior Aiden Cazares head coach of the Grizzlies is Bruce Seibel and now for the homestanding Eastmont Wildcats Reese Gallagher the starter tonight 6'1 senior he'll be joined by in the backcourt Eamon Monahan, also a 6'1 senior Cade Shindeli gets the start tonight, one of the captains, 5'9", senior, along with Andy Hobson, who has really come on so far this season. He's played better every game, 6'4", junior, and rounding out the starting lineup for the Eastmont Wildcats is 6'4", junior, Adrian Ruffins. Head coach of the Wildcats is George Juarez. Introductions being done on the court here. We'll take a break and when we come back, it's tip time. Sunnyside and Eastmont coming your way right here on the NCW Life Channel. Stay with us. When your heating or cooling system is giving you trouble, call the diagnostic doctor from Dick's Seating and Air Conditioning. <laughs> Here's the culprit right here. All joking aside, when you call Dix, you're calling 35 years of experience at customer service right here in the Wenatchee Valley. Dix strongly believes in repairing before replacing and they service all major brands of HVAC units. Hi folks, welcome to Save Mart. How can we help you today? Uh, we're looking for a recliner. Okay, right this way. Go ahead and move this chair on the other side. Great, I want that one. I would like that one. That's a great choice. And I want this one as well. Okay. And I definitely want this one. Ooh. You find it at Savemark. Full service at a low, low price. Hi, my car's making a funny noise. Not a problem. We'll take care of you. Global Car Care's technicians are ASE master techs and well versed in the more refined methods of vehicular diagnostics. Number three piston and rings have a slight loss of compression, down to 108 pounds. Your transmission is slipping. You're gonna need a service. Looks like you're all set. These guys, they're good. Oh, and your spare is flat. Global Car Care, Wenatchee's top shop. Tonight's broadcast also brought to you by Abby's Pizza. For more than 50 years, Abby's has proudly served the Northwest with toppings to the edge, 100% real cheese, and freshly rolled dough. Make it an Abby's Pizza tonight. And by Biosports Physical Therapy, Aqua Therapy, Sports Biomechanics, Orthopedic Physical Therapy, Orthotics, all you need to keep moving. You can find them online at Biosports 
Net. They are open Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Great to have you along on this Friday night here in January and a belated Happy New Year to you all. Hope your year has started off the right way. And it's basketball night here at Eastmont High School tonight. And we've got a good matchup, I think, anyway. And as Coach War has pointed out, every time these boys' teams get together, it seems like it is a close ball game. And I expect nothing but uh, nothing less here tonight. Sunny side, as I mentioned, four and seven overall on the season, two and one in league play, while Eastmont is five and four overall on the season, and one and one so far in this early season. So boy, it's anybody's ball game right now. West Valley leads the Columbia Basin Big Nine with a three and zero oh overall league record. Davis comes in with a two and zero oh record right now. A very good team, and then. And we've got Sunnyside and Eastmont in third and fourth place so far in league. Moses Lake at one and two, Eisenhower at 0 and three, and Wenatchee also in the cellar right now with the record of 0 and three. If you're interested, the top five in the 4A power poll right now has Skyline in first place at seven and one. Federal Way is at 11 and one. They're in second. Gonzaga Prep from the Greater Spokane League. They are 10 and one in third place in the state. Fourth place in the state is Mount. Sai at 10 and 1 and rounding out the top five in the state 4A power pole is Battleground at 12 and 2. Eastmont in their home white uniforms, red numbers trimmed in blue. Meanwhile, Sunnyside in their away black uniforms with white numbers trimmed in red. Good crowd on hand here at Eastmont High School tonight on this Friday night. Great to have you along as we mentioned. Lots still to come as far as basketball coverage here goes on the NCW Life Channel. We will be jam-packed every weekend right through February 11th, bringing you Big Nine basketball with the Wenatchee Panthers and the Eastmont Wildcats. So great to have you here tonight. Just about ready to go. Once again, the final in the uh, first matchup here tonight. It was all Sunnyside girls beating Eastmont by a final of 64 to 24. Eric Granstrom, the night off now after a long day today. So Eric home enjoying some peace and quiet. We've got it under control here from Eastmont High School tonight as Eastmont comes out first, followed by Sunnyside. In the center circle for Eastmont will be Andy Hobson, all kinds of hops and a 6'4 junior. And he'll be jumping up against, I believe, Aiden Cazares, the 6'2 senior. No, it won't be. It's Brent Maldonado, a 6'1 senior for Sunnyside. Ball's in the air, and we are off and running. Maldonado gets the ball. He can't be the first one to touch that, though, and he was. So, <coughs> excuse me, that'll be a violation and be Eastmont basketball. So just like that, turnover on Sunnyside. Eastmont has it. Monahan will bring it in. The Shin Deli and Eastmont sets up the offense facing man-to-man -man Sunnyside defense. Far side wing, it's Monahan kicks it back. Shin Deli, top of the key. Sets up the Eastmont offense, comes right side now. It's Hobson with it in the lane. Short jumper from eight, no good. It, for the rebound, a couple of Grizzlies, but it goes off of Sunnyside, not a bounds, and this will go right back to Eastmont. Good opportunity there for Hobson, just couldn't get it to go. Gallagher to Monahan. He's going to put it up for three, no good. Gallagher underneath with the rebound. He's got it up with it. It's blocked, and I think we might have a foul underneath, and we do. Looks like Jaden Brionis picks up our first foul of the ball game. That'll send 6-1 senior Reese Gallagher to the free throw line. First one on the way, in and out, no good. Free throws when this game is expected to be so close, so important. And see how both teams fared from the charity stripe tonight. Gallagher's second free throw, this time good. one nothing early lead for Eastmont. Seven and a half minutes left to go, opening quarter. Back the other way now, it's the Grizzlies. Here's Maldonado. We talked about such a good, solid ball player. Brionis now top of the gee, goes far side to Maldonado. What a matchup. Eamon Monahan and Maldonado tonight. Max Garcia now with it. He's top of the key. Man-to-man -man defense for Eastmont. Hobson almost gets a steal, and it goes into the hands of Cazares. 
back out now Brionis gets the ball stolen and it's Monahan all by himself down court left handed layup good Eastmont up 3 nothing now 652 to go second turnover and Eastmont made Sunnyside pay for that one as the ball is knocked out of bounds by Hobson Eastmont playing with a lot of energy here in this first minute and a half of this ball game and take a 3-0 lead. Maldonado now. Left-handed dribble. Feigned the three-point shot. Didn't take it, though. To the basket instead is Sains. And he's fouled. And that'll be a foul on Eastmont. And that'll be on Eamon Monahan. So signs to the free throw line. Monahan his first foul. Both teams now with the team foul. Signs, free throw good. Jaden Signs, only a freshman, so he's got a long, long career ahead of him here at Sunnyside High School. Second free throw also good. 3 2 now. Eastmont up by one with six and a half minutes left, first quarter. Hobson. For the Wildcats, Shindeli holds the ball over his head, looks for some help. Hobson wasn't quite ready for it, does chase down the loose ball, though. And back to Shindeli. Drives right side, Monahan to Hobson. Hobson thought about drying, kicks it out instead to Shindeli. Short jumper from six is no good. A nice job on the boards by Sunnyside. Back the other way come the Grizzlies. Here's Maldonado to the basket, layup good. Easy bucket there for the Grizzlies in the first lead for Sunnyside here tonight. Three-pointer taken by Gallagher in and out no good. Nice rebound by Garcia and he decides just to bring it down court himself. Now to Maldonado. Lost control of it. Tried to draw the foul. Couldn't do it. Now kicks it out to Sines. Back to Maldonado. Finds a cutting Brionis to the basket, left hand, no good, beautifully set up play, and then Brionis the steal, underneath a wide open Cazares up and in. Sunnyside now, a 6-3 run here in this first quarter with 5.20 left, Monahan for three is no good, rebound taken down by Brionis. Back come the Grizzlies quickly. Maldonado baseline, got Monahan to leave his feet. Now to the basket, off the glass. Maldonado, good. Coach Juarez wants to talk things over. Five minutes, five seconds left to go here in this first quarter. It's Sunnyside 8 and Eastmont 3. Tonight's broadcast is brought to you by Clean Connection. Call Clean Connection to keep your carpet, upholstery, and air ducts clean for a healthier envi environment inside your home. They're locally owned, and you can find them at yourcleanconnection.com. And by Coldwell Banker Cascade, encouraging you to leave your mark. Coldwell Banker Cascade is guiding you in homes in north central Washington. All right, 8-0 run by the Grizzlies here. Coach Juarez a good time out there to settle his team down a little bit. Eastmont with an early lead now find themselves down by five with 5.05 left to go in the opening quarter. Here's Shindeli with it now for the Wildcats. Goes to the right side. Kicks it out there to Monahan. Now Gallagher has it. To Shindeli at the elbow. Back to Monahan. Gets a screen. Can't get the shot off though. Good defense by the Grizzlies. Shindeli in the lane, kicks it back out. Monahan gets some air, jump shot, good. Monahan with four now, four of the five Eastmont points in this first quarter. Back the other way come the Grizzlies on the baseline. Garcia, the runner, no good. Brionis, the rebound, back up, no good. Another chance at it for the Grizzlies. This one's no good. Finally, Hobson clears the boards for Eastmont. Kick out, Monahan on the baseline. Here's Ruffins behind the three-point arc. No good, rebound to Cazares. And almost threw it away, picked up by Brionis. Now long shot taken by Sines, the freshman, no good. And back the other way, it's Eamon Monahan. Jumper, no good, air ball. And the rebound into the hands of Sines. Maldonado decides to slow things up a little bit as we dip under four minutes now left in this opening quarter. 8-5, Sunnyside on top. Garcia 
Top of the key, Maldonado. This is such a great matchup. Maldonado and Monahan tonight. Maldonado wanted the foul, didn't get it. Ducked the other way. It's Ruffins, and then a turnover on Eastmont as the Grizzlies come back the other way. Brionis underneath, layup, up and good, Garcia. 10-5, Sunnyside lead. With 319 left first quarter, Shindelli. Not a Monahan. Dribbles back. Takes a look at the setup. Good man-to-man -man defense so far in this first quarter by the Grizzlies. Gallagher to the elbow. Puts up the shot there. Too hard off the back of the iron. No good. And a nice rebound again by Aiden Cazares. <coughs> Maldonado slowly brings it across the timeline. This time as we dip under three minutes now left. First quarter. Gets a screen from Cazares. Good defense by Ruffins. Adrian Ruffins, the 6'4 junior. Here's Maldonado. Six on the shot clock. All the way to the basket. Layup is good. Six points for Maldonado in this first quarter. It's 12-5 now. Gallagher back out to Monahan. Garcia on him. Good move by Monahan. Another elbow jump shot and another air ball by Monahan. It goes off a of Grizzly and out of bounds, and it will remain Eastmont basketball. Into the gap ball game is 6'1 senior Austin Ruffins as he replaces his brother Adrian in the lineup with 2.22 left in the first quarter. Gallagher, far side of the court. Cross court pass to the near side now. It's Monahan. Back out top of the key, Shindelli. The freshman signs is on him. Back out right side, Monahan. Garcia taps at it. Left Monahan open from the baseline, up and in. Six points for Monahan. Six points for Maldonado for Sunnyside in this one. It's 12-7 with a minute 50 left in the first quarter. Garcia. Takes the shot for three, in and out, no good. Into the hands of Signs, right under the basket. Good. Boy, right place at the right time for the freshman there. Ruffins, free throw line. Now to Shindelli, drives, kicks it out. Monahan spins, almost a foul, then a turnover on Eastmont. Back the other way, and it's Brionis. Up and in. 16 to 7, largest lead of this game by nine now for the Grizzlies with a minute 15 left in the opening quarter. Shindelli drives in the lane, stops there, and he's pushed. This foul will be on the freshman, Jaden Sines. Only three fouls in this first quarter by both teams. Very cleanly played so far. Substitution in for Eastmont at Seth Stone. The six-foot senior. Inbounds play and it's stolen away. Nice defense by Maldonado and the Grizzlies there with a minute left to go now in this first quarter. Maldonado baseline to the basket, no good. Back up, Savaris, and it's Cazares, and it's good. 11-point Sunnyside lead as the Grizzlies just ex exploded here. After the first couple of minutes, Hobson back out to Gallagher, to Hobson. He's going to take the long shot too hard off the back of the iron. No good. Who runs down the rebound? Cazares had his hands on it. And then Garcia on the baseline, and that'll give it to Eastmont. 33 seconds on the game clock, 30 on the shot clock. As Gallagher brings it into Ruffins. Monahan, far elbow jumper, good. Eight points for Monahan in this opening quarter. Cuts the lead to nine now to 18 to nine with 19 seconds left to go. Sunnyside can take the last shot if they wish to do so here. Signs back out Maldonado with Monahan on him. Nine seconds left to go. First quarter. Maldonado tries to get an isolation. Can't. Signs the freshman. No good. But there's Garcia back up and good at the buzzer. And that ends our first quarter of play at Eastmont High School. It's Sunnyside 20 and Eastmont 9. We're back for second quarter action in 60 seconds. Hey everyone, Fletcher and Amy Ellington here from Live It Up. Join us every week as we answer your questions on health, wealth, and relationships. We're all about you creating a life that you love, so tune in to Live It Up.
Hello, television family. Grab your cup of coffee each weekday morning and join me. I'm Dan Koontz, the host of Wake Up Anachi Valley. It's Wake Up Anachi Valley. It's everything you need to start your day. We're live and we're local at 7 a.m. every weekday on the NCW Life Channel. When the people you serve are your friends and family, you see the world a bit differently. You understand that your survival depends on the health and strength of your relationships. Your word is your reputation and that doing the right thing is the only way of life that matters. At Confluence Health, we remain humble. Trust is a gift that is earned, a privilege, an honor. And we remain grateful for the trust you place in our hands. Well, after the Eastmont Wildcats jumped out to a three to nothing lead in that first quarter, it was all Sunnyside Grizzlies as Sunnyside leads it after the first quarter, 20 to nine, as we are just set to start the second quarter. Sunnyside will have it first. It looks like Brionis will bring it in for the Grizzlies. Very solid first quarter for the Grizzlies. Rebounded well and boy, took advantage of their opportunities. Maldonado with it, six points in that first quarter to lead the Grizzlies in scoring. Eight points for Eamon Monahan to lead the Wildcats. Here's Signs now, back out. It's knocked out of bounds. Brionis tried to chase it, but Hobson knocks it out. <laughs> Substitution in for the Grizzlies. D'Angelo Salinas comes in the game, replacing the freshman, Jaden Signs. Here's Salinas now, point guard, off the bench for the Grizzlies. Near side, Garcia, guarded there by Reese Gallagher. Once Gallagher let Garcia get around him, kind of that knee drew that foul, and Reese Gallagher picks up his first. Both teams now with two team fouls here in this first half. Brionis underneath, Garcia, the fadeaway is good. He's got six now, and it's 22 to nine. Stunned Eastmont team and a stunned crowd here so far in this first half, expecting a close one. And so far, Sunnyside just pulling away right now. 13 point lead. Here's Ruffins. Over the head pass, Hobson. He's going to take it to the basket. Had it blocked in there by Maldonado. And back come the Grizzlies on the run. In the lane, Garcia tied up momentarily by Ruffins. Back out now. It's Maldonado drives and he's bodied inside the lane. And Maldonado will go to the free throw line. So smooth out there. Number 11, Brent Maldonado. Eastmont foul is on Austin Ruffins. Three fouls now on the Wildcats. Two on Sunnyside here in the first half. With 7.02 left to play second quarter. Maldonado free throw is good. 24 to nine, 23 rather to nine. 14 point Sunnyside lead, misses the second one and the rebound to Gallagher. Monahan now gets it knocked away as he tried to get it on the baseline to Stone. And Eastmont will have it side out right in front of the Grizzly bench. Here's Monahan picked up one on one by Garcia. One of the leading scorers in the big nine, Eamon Monahan. Gallagher now to Hobson, near side on the wing. Here's Monahan. Garcia on him, drives into the lane, and then it's taken away by the Grizzlies in Salinas. Four turnovers now on Eastmont in this first half. Two is all for the Grizzlies. Six and a half minutes left to go before halftime. Maldonado from NBA range is no good. Gallagher the rebound, quickly down court. Hobson. Kind of hits Salinas in the face with that ball and it goes out off of Salinas and it will be Eastmont basketball and timeout called on the floor. 6.23 left to go in the second quarter. It's Sen all sunny side. The Grizzlies 23 and the Wildcats 9. Tonight's ball game brought to you by Confluence Health. High quality care close to home. Confluence Health is dedicated to improving their patients' health with safe, high-quality care in 12 communities. And by Dick's Heating and Air Conditioning, providing heating and air conditioning service and installation since 1982. Serving residential and commercial, they specialize in indoor air quality, installation, service, and repair. Boy, it has been grisly night so far tonight in this first half, 23 to nine our score. And this 14-point lead is the biggest we've seen tonight. 
Eastmont jumped out to a three to nothing lead in the first quarter, and that has been it for leads for Eastmont so far in this first half. Inbounds now, it's Stone with it for the Wildcats. Hounded there by Selena. Stone gets to the free throw line and all the way to the basket layup, but I think he was fouled before the shot. And he was, and that will be on D'Angelo Salinas. Non-shooting foul, so Eastmont will have it with a fresh shot clock underneath their own basket. Hobson, baseline. Monahan posting up on Garcia's double team now. Got it back after almost had it, had it stolen away from him, and he's just going to reset the Wildcat offense. Goes left side to Stone, and Stone throws it right into the hands of a Grizzly. Quickly down court, the shot, Maldonado. It's no good, and he's going to go to the free throw line. Seth Stone with that foul. That's team foul number four now on Eastmont. As Brent Maldonado goes to the free throw line. One of two so far from the charity stripe tonight. First one good. He's got eight points. That ties now Eamon Monahan for game leaders in scoring. He can get his ninth here with the made free throw on the way, and it's good. 25 to 9. It's been Grizzlies so far in this first half. 550 left to go, second quarter. On the baseline, Gallagher and Monahan play catch with it. Monahan a three, no good. There's Maldonado with the rebound. Sunnyside quickly down court. Garcia back to Monahan. Gets the defender off his feet. No look pass. Garcia underneath, no good. And the rebound to Monahan. Monahan still with it to the basket, and he draws the foul underneath. And Eamon Monahan now will go to the line and shoot two. Briones, Jaden Briones, his second foul. Both teams now with four team fouls, with 5:26 left in the second quarter. Monahan at the free throw line. No points yet in this quarter, and still without a point. Signs the freshman comes back in, and he'll replace Jaden Briones in the Grizzly lineup. Monahan missed his first. Here's the second one. This time it's good. 25 to 10. 15 point sunny side lead. 520 left to go in this fairly fast moving first half here from Eastmont High School. To the basket. Salinas can't get the shot off. Maldonado will for three. Falls down. Doesn't get the call. Garcia back up. Again with it. No good. This time Gallagher clears it for Eastmont. Down court to Seth Stone. Stone then has his pocket picked right away, and now it signs the freshman. Layup is no good. Cavares with the rebound. And another fresh shot clock for the Grizzlies. Underneath, shot taken. Three seconds is called. Oh, no, it's an offensive foul called on Cazares. That's his first. And five team fouls now on the Grizzlies as Shindeli checks back in to the Eastmont lineup. 25-10, Grizzlies, 15-point lead, 440 left to go before halftime. Shindeli far side to Reese Gallagher. Now it's Ruffins with it, Austin Ruffins underneath. Hobson, turnaround too short with that one, no good. Ruffins the rebound, though, looking for some help and dishes it back out to Shindeli. Now it's Monahan. Good defense by these Grizzlies this entire first half. Boy, that's really been the difference. Gallagher a tough shot, and Maldonado the rebound for Sunnyside. 4-10 left first half. Maldonado baseline, kicks it out to Salinas. Now it's Garcia for three. It's good. Nine points for Max Garcia. Shin Deli back the other way. A one and done for the Wildcats. And back quickly come the Grizzlies. 18 point lead here in the second quarter. Salinas with Shindeli on him, gets a screen, can't do much with it though, and then just kicks it back out to Garcia. Both teams man-to-man -man defense his first half. Salinas, Cavares, and then Sines has his shot blocked by Hobson, and that gives Eastmont a break as Ruffins comes down court with it. To Hobson, free throw line, back to Ruffins. 
kind of shuffled his feet there, and that's a turnover on Eastmont. Seven turnovers now in this first half on the Wildcats, only three for Sunnyside. Substitutions, David Ochoa comes into the ball game. Ochoa, a 5'8 senior, lots of experience as well. And we've got a timeout called. 3.22 left to go in the second quarter. It's Sunnyside, 28, and the Eastmont Wildcats, 10. We're back courtside in 60 seconds. You've got a lot to do today. While you're out and about, remember to dispose of your unused medications safely and anonymously. It's a simple act that makes your home a safer place. Next time you're at the pharmacy, just place them in the drop box. To find a location, visit medproject.org. The newest generation of GMC Sierra pickups offer the most advanced technology, the strongest selection of powertrain, and everything else you need to work hard, play hard, and explore the boundaries of the Wenatchee Valley and beyond. Take a look at the latest, most luxurious and durable trucks on the market. You will see why GMC is not your grandfather's pickup. You want to bet, kid? Three twenty left to go before halftime. Sunnyside with it out of that timeout and an 18-point lead, 28 to 10. In this fairly low scoring first half here from Eastmont High School. Here's a Choa with it now off the bench. Salinas also off the bench earlier in this half. Left handed shot in the lane, no good. Rebound to Ruffins for the Wildcats. Now to Shindeli across the timeline. Little stutter step, but a Gallagher. Monahan left wide open for three, and boy, he just cannot find the range from the outside as we've got an official timeout here. Max Garcia, I think, just a little shaken up there after that last possession. Takes a deep breath as Kellen Leonard checks into the game now. And he'll replace Austin Ruffins in the Eastmont lineup. So the first action for Kellen Leonard, the big 6'3 senior for the Wildcats. Here's Salinas now. East, uh, Sunnyside, rather, 18-point lead as Monahan falls into Maldonado. And Monahan picks up his second personal. Both teams with five fouls now in this first half. Adrian Ruffins into the lineup. He'll replace Andy Hobson for the Wildcats. With 2.37 left to go before half. Salinas down low. It's Maldonado against Monahan. Maldonado wins that one up and in. Boy, such a solid player. Shindeli now back the other way for the Wildcats. Underneath, Ruffins, tough shot from the baseline is no good. And the rebound into the hands of Max Garcia in this 20-point game right now, the largest lead we've seen. It's been all sunny side from about halfway through the first quarter. Maldonado, he's been hot off the glass, no good with that one. Right into the hands, though, of Severus. Cazares is good, and that's his first two of the second quarter. Minute 50 left to go before half. Gallagher, now to Leonard, top of the key, looking for somebody down low. It's Ruffins from about four feet up and in. His first bucket of the night, and it's 32 to 12. Keep in mind, Eastman has only scored three points this entire second quarter. Here's Maldonado now near wing. Top of the key, Salinas, back to Maldonado. Got Leonard off his feet, double pump, layup, no good. <laughs> so Harris up and in, and he will be fouled. The foul is on Kellen Leonard. And Cazares now can try and complete the three-point play for the Grizzlies, who have been dominant here at Eastmont High School tonight. Right-handed shooter, free throw, no good. Garcia out of nowhere, up and in. Boy, Eastmont just flat here in this first quarter, down by 24 now with a minute six left to go before the break. And I'm sure the Wildcats are going to hear it from Coach George Juarez in that locker room. Here's Leonard. 
trying to find the open man. And Sunnyside has just done an outstanding job defensively here tonight. Monahan. Garcia thought he got all ball, but the referee thought otherwise and thought he got a little too much arm there. And Max Garcia picks up his first personal foul. And that'll send Avon Monahan to the free throw line. Monahan with nine points in the game out of Eastmont's 12 points. And he's one for two from the free throw line. First one on the way, no good. The freshman comes back in. Jaden signs for Sunnyside, and he'll replace David Ochoa in the lineup. Monahan missed the first. Here's his second. Does get that one to go. And Monahan now two of four from the free throw line tonight. Jaden Brionis checks back in for the Grizzlies to give Max Garcia a little extended rest before the halftime break. Why not? It's been all Grizzly. Salinas now for three. Hits the top of the backboard. And that will be Eastmont basketball. 43 seconds left to go before halftime. And I think the Wildcats are looking for that halftime break at this point. Here's Gallagher, far side wing. Now to Leonard, holds it above the head, lob pass down low, Ruffins turns around, takes the shot in and out, no good. Monahan the rebound, I should say Gallagher rather, off the glass and good. First field goal of the night for Reese Gallagher, and he has three points in this 36-15 game. Sunnyside can take the last shot here before halftime, and it looks like they will do just that. Seven seconds left, Maldonado on the dribble. Working against Monahan, it's Maldonado, tries to draw the foul on that shot, can't get it, and that will do it for our first half of play. All Grizzlies here from Eastmont High School tonight at the break. It's Sunnyside 36 and Eastmont 15. Stay with us, halftime show begins in two minutes. I'm Brian Thorpe, and I'm proud to say that Global Car Care is growing. We always do the right thing, and because of that, we're busy, and it's time to hire an experienced automotive technician. We spend as much time with our coworkers as we do our own family. I want them to understand they're not a number here. They're a person with a family, and I want them to be part of this family too. Do you want an owner that understands and respects what you do every day? I'm that guy. Our compensation is the best in the area. I want you to have your career with us. You don't have to be a member to enjoy the view and dine-in style at Highlander Bar & Grill, located in East Wenatchee. Highlander Golf Course has added two state-of-the-art full-swing simulators. Food and drink service is available from our full-service bar and grill, offering breakfast, lunch, and dinner seven days a week. Indoor and outdoor seating available. Call Shalane, our on-site coordinator, to schedule your special event. The NCW Life Channel offers marketing packages that help you build your brand and sell your products and services. From traditional TV ads to targeted digital campaigns, let us help you build your customer base. Call NCW Life Channel today. Connect with us on Networked as we introduce you to the people and organizations who are leading innovation in the region. Get inspired, engaged, and networked right here on the NCW Life Channel. The agents of Kennedy Real Estate Group are committed to providing the ideal client experience. We believe in the power of relationships. Why? Because we don't just work here, we live here. From the nonprofits we serve, the parks where we play, and the local businesses we support, our team understands the value of living in the Wenatchee Valley. Let's begin your real estate story. Back at Eastmont High School, Grant Olson with you. Great to have you along tonight. And so far, it has been all Sunnyside Grizzlies here at the break. Our halftime score is Sunnyside 36 and Eastmont 15. The Grizzlies outscored Eastmont 20 to 9 in that first quarter and then outscored Eastmont 16 to 6 in the second to make this a 36 to 15 ball game. And I'll tell you what, it was 
Eastmont to begin with three nothing lead and then Sunnyside went on a seven to nothing run to take the lead at seven to three and then went on another nine to two run and it's been all Grizzlies since then only two players for Eastmont in the scoring column so far and let's take a look at the scoring now Reese Gallagher for Eastmont he has three points in the ball game one for one from the free throw line leading scorer Eamon Monahan. He has 10 points at the break, two for four from the free throw line, and one field goal for Adrian Ruffins. The Wildcats, three of five from that free throw line and committed seven first half turnovers. For the Sunnyside Grizzlies leading the way, Max Garcia with 11 points, along with Brent Maldonado, also with 11. Maldonado, by the way, three of four from the free throw line. Also a good first half for the big man, Aiden Cazares, eight points in the game, 0 for one from the charity stripe. And rounding out the scoring for uh, Sunnyside is Jaden Sines. He's only a freshman, four points in that first half, and he was two for two from the free throw line. Sunnyside, five of seven is a team from the charity stripe and committed three first half turnovers. We will take another break and come back with more of the halftime show as our coverage of Eastmont and Sunnyside continues right here on the end. You know what? I think we'll just keep it here. If you can hear me at home and let's get some cameras on the drum uh, the drummers out here from Eastmont High School, the band. This is always a great show. So let's see if we can catch a little bit of this. As the drummers get ready to play, it gives me time to tell you that tonight's broadcast is brought to you by Global Car Care. Your vehicle is their number one priority. Diesels and your European cars are their specialty. Enjoy the drummers.
there you have it. A fantastic job by the, the highlight of the Eastmont band, and that is their drum section. A great job here at Eastmont High School. We will take a two-minute timeout, and we'll come back for the second half here at Eastmont High School. It's the Sunnyside Grizzlies, 36, and the Eastmont Wildcats, 15. We're back in two minutes. If you could live anywhere, where would it be? And what would it be like? With today's home values, this is the perfect time to sell and make those dreams real. When you work with a world-class agent at Coldwell Banker, you benefit from trusted guidance in our revolutionary seller's assurance program to make your home sale more rewarding than ever. So it really is true. Your dreams don't have to be just dreams. Are you dealing with a pest or weed issue and you just don't know what to do? We use the best pest control methods approved for areas with kids and pets. Whether it's rats, mice, ants, or spiders, or something else altogether. We provide the coaching and solutions you're looking for. And you can know that your dollars are supporting a local, family-owned and operated business. Allow us to help you get back to living healthy and pest-free. Harvest Valley Pest Control. I believe we've been coming to Abby's for 56 years, isn't it? Yes, yeah. 56 years. Remembering all the events as a family and a community that we spent at Abby's. E excellent and delicious food at an affordable price. We're delighted that we live close enough to be able to be a frequent customer. And we are. And we are. <laughs> In fact, we've got orders to bring home a, a giant pizza when we leave okay. here tonight. <laughs> When you call Dick's Heating and Air Conditioning, you're calling on 35 plus years of experience in the Wenatchee Valley. Spending extra time in your home, you may have discovered an unwanted aroma. Stinky feet, pets, who knows what. Call Dick's today about installing their Train Clean Effects Electronic Air Cleaner or a Ream Halo Ultraviolet Air Purifier. Either way, the air quality in your home will be improved. Proudly servicing all of North Central Washington, call 884-6444 today. All right, we are back courtside and just about ready to go for quarter number three here from Eastmont High School. It's been all Sunnyside so far in this first half. As I mentioned, Sunnyside outscored Eastmont 20 to nine in that first quarter and then outscored the Wildcats 16 to six in the second. And that's where we stand right now, 36 to 15. Only three Wildcats scored in that first half. Eamon Monahan with 10, Gallagher with three, and Adrian Ruffins with two points. So Eastmont's gotta have a little more balanced scoring here in this second half and try to find a way to penetrate this very, very good Sunnyside Grizzly man-to-man -man defense. All right, we're off and running. Third quarter, it's Ruffins with it for Eastmont as the Wildcats start with the ball here. Hobson, far side on the baseline. Gallagher, a very subdued crowd now at Eastmont High School with their home team down here by 21. Monahan's gonna take it to the basket, a reach-in foul. Pretty good job by Garcia, but it's gonna be Garcia with that foul, and that'll be his second. And that's our term, first team foul now of this second half. Gallagher will bring it in for Eastmont. Bounce pass under the basket for Monahan. Pretty tough play right there and goes out of bounds and that's our first turnover of the second half. That's eight turnovers now on Eastmont in this game. 7.36, just underway, second quarter. Great to have you along here on the NCW Life Channel. With the basketball, it's the Grizzlies, Brionis. On the baseline, Malden Otto, such a smooth player out there. Back out, Brionis with it. Gets Ruffins to leave his feet, can't get the shot to go. Hobson had it and then knocked it off his own leg and out of bounds. And that'll give it right back to the Grizzlies. Boy, that's so easy to happen. You're excited, you got the rebound, you want to kick it out and get the fast break going and things just don't quite go well. Sunnyside with it now, with that lead. Maldonado, it's been a good matchup. Monahan and Maldonado. Maldonado with 11 in the first half. Monahan with 10. Brionis for three, no good. And there's Garcia again. Right place at the right time with that offensive rebound. Looks for help. Cazares underneath, also a good first half. Maldonado baseline. Into the lane, gets good 
air on that jump shot. It bounces around, and there's signs with the rebound. The freshman and a fresh shot clock for Sunnyside. Maldonado, the shot up no good. Who's got it this time? And it's into the hands of Garcia. Now signs on the baseline. Back to Maldonado. Wanted to post up Monahan, and there's a shot to the basket. Good. Maldonado now with 13, and that beautiful move underneath. Back to offense now for Eastmont, and they need it right here. 6-15 left in the third. Eastmont down by 23, 38-15. Hobson baseline shot no good. Not the shot Coach Juarez wanted. And once again, it's one and done for the Wildcats. Brionis dumps it underneath. Cazares is no good. Sunnyside wanted a foul there. No call. And back the other way, it's Shindeli for the Wildcats. Top of the key, Gallagher's going to put up a three off the glass, and it's good. Little smirk after that one from Gallagher. Gallagher, I don't think he probably called that one if it was horse. 20-point lead now for the Grizzlies as we approach five and a half minutes left in the third quarter. Maldonado gets it to Signs, top of the key. Boy, only a freshman. Brionis now three. Good. Jaden Brionis with five now, and it's a 41 to 18 game. What a surprise here from Eastmont tonight. Expected a much closer game, but boy, there is no doubt which team came out with the most energy tonight. And it's been the Sunnyside Grizzlies. Underneath Hobson does make the shot, but he was fouled before the shot. This foul is on Brent Maldonado, only his first personal. That's two team fouls now on Sunnyside here in the second half. Kellen Leonard checks in. He'll replace Ruffins in the lineup. Also Monahan back in, playing with a tissue in his one of his nostrils, had a bloody nose earlier in this game, and it's kind of given him some problems here. Leonard has his shot blocked, and back the other way come the Grizzlies. Brionis. Cazares back out to Brionis. Sunnyside can pretty much take as much time as they'd like now with this big lead. Maldonado, far side wing. Both teams man-to-man -man defense throughout this game. Far side, Brionis. Gallagher on him. Dumps it underneath. Cazares up and in. That's 10 for Cazares now in this 43 to 18 ball game. 25 point lead for Sunnyside. Leonard with 418. We're not even to the halfway point of this third quarter yet. Underneath, Ruffins throws it away. And that's an even 10 turnovers now for Eastmont here in this ball game. And Coach Juarez, it's a couple of times now he's walked behind the bench just in utter frustration of the way his team is playing tonight. Here's Maldonado looking for a screen, goes the other direction. Monahan then tips it away from him and out of bounds. And it will remain Sunnyside basketball. Four minutes exactly left to go third quarter. All Grizzlies so far. Underneath Maldonado. Eastmont asleep on that defensive play. And that's Maldonado's 15th point of the night. Monahan now, why not? It's up and good for three. 13 for Monahan of the Eastmont 21 points, and it's 45 21. Sunnyside a little more deliberate on this offensive set. Maldonado top of the key. A danger from anywhere on the court, though. Near side, signs. Brionis to Maldonado. He's going to put it up for three. This one's short, though. And Kellen Leonard the rebound for the Wildcats. Outlet, Gallagher. Drive to the basket. Can't get it to sh go. If he would have got that to go, it may have counted. But he's going to go shoot some free throws instead. So Jaden Brionis picks up foul number three for the Grizzlies and quickly off the bench is D'Angelo Salinas for Sunnyside. Reese Gallagher to the free throw line. He is one of two so far tonight. This one good. Seven points for Gallagher now. Shindeli to the bench. Seth Stone checks in. And Salinas, as I mentioned, also in there for the Grizzlies.
Gallagher's second free throw on the way. In and out, no good this time. It goes off Leonard, and it will be Sunnyside basketball. Forty-five, twenty-two, three, ten. Left to go, third quarter. It's been all sunny side here tonight, and somewhat of a surprise at Eastmont High School. Salinas underneath Garcia, nice play, but the ball's loose on the floor. Picked up by Signs. Back to Maldonado, far side. Salinas on the baseline can't take the shot, and now he's kind of stuck underneath. Nice baseline pass to Garcia. Five on the shot clock now for the Grizzlies, and a good timeout by Coach Bruce Seibel. And the Grizzlies will talk things over. 2.46 left to go third quarter. Sunnyside 45, Eastmont 22, back in 60. Thanks to Les Schwab tires. I'm a confident vaccine driver, but mom's a little stressed about spending. Remember, breathe in. Now watch your speed and breathe out. Even though we're watching our wallets, Les Schwab is still watching out for our safety. So it's right here. Help keep drivers and backseat drivers safe with Les Schwab tires. When your heating or cooling system is giving you trouble, call the diagnostic doctor from Dick Seating and Air Conditioning. <laughs> Here's the culprit right here. All joking aside, when you call Dix, you're calling 35 years of experience at customer service right here in the Wenatchee Valley. Dix strongly believes in repairing before replacing, and they service all major brands of HVAC units. All right, we are back. 246 left to go, third quarter out of the break. Sunnyside basketball, Maldonado at the shot clock buzzer. No good, almost saved by Garcia. Now a fast break opportunity for Eastmont. It's taken right away by Salinas. How about this defense by the Sunnyside Grizzlies tonight? Just been stifling this fairly high-powered Eastmont offense. Underneath Garcia loses control of it and goes out of bounds. That is only the fourth turnover on the Grizzlies in this entire game in the first turnover here in the second half. 2-16 left third quarter. Eastmont with it. Here's Ruffins. Now near side Monahan. Tries to shake Garcia, shot no good. Underneath, fight for it. It goes off the Wildcats. I think it went off Ruffins, and it will be Sunnyside basketball. Boy, all the loose balls have gone Sunnyside's way, and to the Grizzlies' credit, they have been way more efficient at getting loose balls as well so far in this game. As I mentioned, Eastmont just a little bit flat and lacks kind of the energy that Sunnyside has here tonight. And Eastmont has about a quarter and one minute and 40 seconds to get things going. Baseline shot, signs is no good. There's Cazares underneath. He has been at the right place at the right time all night. He's fouled, he'll shoot free throws. Kellen Leonard, that foul for Eastmont. That's his second and the second team foul on the Wildcats. And that sends the big man, Aiden Cazares, to the free throw line. 6-2 senior with 10 points so far on the night. Misses his first one. Still only three Wildcats in the scorebook so far tonight, while six Grizzlies have scored so far. Here's Cazares' second one, and it's good. 24-point Sunnyside lead with a minute 30 now left third quarter. Gallagher. On the baseline, it's Monahan tried to take the baseline. Boy, Garcia thought he had position down there, but he's going to be called with the blocking foul. And that will be Garcia's third personal. So he uh, joins Jaden Briones with three fouls for the Grizzlies. Four team fouls now on Sunnyside. Baseline, Gallagher with Salinas on him. Now out to Stone, back to Gallagher. I think we've got a double foul underneath, a little bit rough under there. It's Ruffins, Austin Ruffins, and Cazares. So Cazares will pick up his second, and Austin Ruffins will also pick up foul number two. That adds a team foul to each team. So Eastman has two team fouls now in this half, and Sunnyside with five. 
Minute 19 left to go third quarter. As Coach Seibel talks it over with one of the officials. Okay, it looks like we're ready to go. Gallagher will bring it inbounds for Eastmont. As I mentioned, boy, just great man-to-man -man defense all night long by the Sunnyside Grizzlies. They have played outstanding. Inbounds, there's Monahan as they caught the Grizzlies sleeping that time. And Monahan with his 15th point of the night. 46-24, Maldonado to Salinas. Grizzlies, of course, want to keep that heat on here and keep this lead going into the fourth quarter as Eastmont has been pecking, pecking away, but still down by 22. Free throw line, Cazares, far side, signs, baseline. Tough shot by the freshman up and in. Six points now for Jaden Signs, and it's back to a 48-24 lead, 24-point lead. 35 seconds left, third quarter. Beautiful pass, Monahan underneath Kellen Leonard. Good, and that's Leonard's first points of the night. Makes it 48-26. Maldonado slowly bringing up court. Grizzlies want the final shot here of this third quarter. It's Salinas. 10 seconds now left to Maldonado. That would be the one I would think would take this shot. Maldonado baseline. Monahan, I'd say, say Gallagher on him. Back to Maldonado. Two seconds. One takes the shot and draws that foul. Boy, just what Sunnyside was looking for and exactly what Eastmont was not looking for. That foul is on Reese Gallagher, and that's his second. And that sends Brent Maldonado to the free throw line. He is three for four from there tonight. 15 points in this ball game. I think they're trying to decide if it was a two-point shot or a three-point shot. All right, here we go. The band started playing, so they had to get the band to stop. <laughs> Maldonado now, free throw line, it's good. 16 on the night for Brent Maldonado. I said at the outset of this game, that would be a player to watch for these Grizzlies, and boy, has he ever been tonight. Does not make the second, and that ends our third quarter of play. After three here at Eastmont, it's Sunnyside 49 and Eastmont 26. We're back in 60 seconds. Hey everyone, Fletcher and Amy Ellington here from Live It Up. Join us every week as we answer your questions on health, wealth, and relationships. We're all about you creating a life that you love, so tune in to Live It Up. News, weather, and sports. It's all here weekdays at 5, 6, and 10 on your local news source, the NCW Life Channel. When the people you serve are your friends and family, you see the world a bit differently. You understand that your survival depends on the health and strength of your relationships. Your word is your reputation and that doing the right thing is the only way of life that matters. At Confluence Health, we remain humble. Trust is a gift that is earned, a privilege, an honor. And we remain grateful for the trust you place in our hands. All right, fourth quarter underway. Grant Olson with you. Hope you've enjoyed our broadcast tonight of Eastmont Wildcat basketball. Boy, it's been all sunny side here in both of these games tonight. The boys lead this one 49-26 going into this fourth quarter. Eastmont out, or uh, sunny side outscored Eastmont 13 to 11 in that third quarter. So the Grizz Wildcats need a big run here in this fourth quarter. Foul as Brionis goes to the basket. That'll be on Kellen Leonard. Boy, quick three fouls for Kellen Leonard now off the bench for the Wildcats. Sends Jaden Brionis to the free throw line. Has not attempted a free throw yet tonight and has five points. Free throw, good. Brionis will get one more. 
Sunnyside off to an excellent start in league play at two and one, and they can go three and one with a win here tonight. Gets his second free throw as well. 51-26, back to a 25-point Sunnyside lead. Here's Gallagher under the basket. Nice feed up and in. Nine in the game now for Gallagher. It's 51-28. Maldonado with it. Fourth quarter action here from Eastmont High School. Near side wing, Maldonado back to Briones. Playing catch with Maldonado. Cazares underneath, Maldonado tried to draw that foul, did an excellent job of actually just leaning in to Ruffins. And that foul will be on Austin Ruffins. That's his third, so Austin Ruffins and Kellen Leonard out there with three fouls for the Wildcats. I think Coach Juarez at this point just trying to find a, a five that will can gel somehow here tonight. Just hasn't done that yet. Maldonado free throw good, his first point of the fourth quarter. 17 now in the ball game for Brent Maldonado. Second free throw, too hard off the back of the iron, no good. Rebound underneath by Ruffins. Down court, Monahan. Jump shot, side of the free throw line, good. 17 in the ball game for Monahan. That's over half of what Eastmont has in this one. It's 52 to 30. Brionis dribbles out of traffic and back to the top of the key. Eastmont has slid now into a zone defense. Kicked out of bounds by Gallagher. And that'll be a fresh shot clock for the Grizzlies with 626 left to go. Substitution Diego Robles, 6'2 senior, comes in for Eastmont and he'll replace Austin Ruffins. Maldonado dribbles out from the wing to the top of the key as Sunnyside takes their time now. It's, and it's almost a turnover. Cazares gets it back. He's got it at the elbow to Maldonado. Eastmont once again. Now trying a zone defense underneath. The ball's loose. Here's Garcia with it. Kicks it out. Briona, six on the shot clock. Maldonado for three. It's no good. Robles, the rebound for Eastmont. Kicks it out. Monahan. Far side. Then a blocking foul again. This time it'll be on Garcia. And that's a big one. That's number four now, unofficially, on Max Garcia. Now it's official. Four fouls as Shindeli comes in and replaces Seth Stone in the Eastmont lineup. Five minutes, 52 seconds left, fourth quarter. Shindeli for the Wildcats has it to Leonard. Has his pass blocked, but it's right back to him. Now to Monahan. Monahan sets, takes the tough jumper for two. It's good. 19 in the ball game for Monahan to lead all scorers, but Eastmont still finds themselves down by 20. It's 52-32, 5.22 left fourth quarter. Signs has it for Sunnyside on the baseline, and it's stolen away, and then a foul back the other way. I believe this will be on Maldonado, it is, and that's his second. Seven team fouls now on Sunnyside as Eastmont in the bonus, and they'll shoot free throws the rest of the way here. Diego Robles to the line, 6'2", senior. Just into the game, yet to score tonight. Eastmont has only attempted two free throws here in this entire second half. Robles, right-handed shot, no good. Rebound to Sunnyside and Maldonado. In some traffic, heads-up play by Maldonado as he calls timeout. 5-12, left to go in our ball game. All Sunnyside. It's Sunnyside 52 and Eastmont 32. Tonight's broadcast brought to you by Global Car Care. Your vehicle is their number one priority. Diesels and European cars are their specialty. Pick up and drop off is available. Stop by their website at globalcarcare.net. And by Harvest Valley Pest Control, living healthy, local, and pest-free. 
You can rest assured that Harvest Valley Pest Control uses kid and pet safe material around your home or office. Call Harvest Valley Pest Control today for your free estimate. The phone number 509-423-2207. Teams back out on the court after that timeout. It'll be sunny side ball. A 20-point lead with 5-12 left to go. The Grizzlies have led by as many as 25 points. Eastmont actually led it right out of the gate, three to nothing. But it has been all sunny side since then. Eastmont goes into a half-court trap, gets the ball knocked out of bounds, but it will remain Grizzly ball with exactly five minutes left. Briones side out to Maldonado, back to Briones. Garcia, a Maldonado. Signs with it as Eastmont sticking with that zone. Briones the shot, no good, and we've got a push underneath. Let's check this foul, it's on Reese Gallagher. So that's the sixth team foul on Eastmont. One more for the Wildcats. Sunnyside will shoot free throws as well. So this will be underneath the basket. Four forty-eight left to go, fourth quarter. Briones to bring it in. Slaps the ball, looks for some help. Better get it in. He does so to Signs, trapped under the basket. Now it's Garcia for three. It's good. Woo, 14 for Garcia now in this game. Four and a half minutes left in the game. There's Monahan to the basket. He's hammered down there by Cazares. And Monahan will go to the free throw line and shoot two. Aiden Cazares, his third foul. That's the eighth team foul now on Sunnyside. Monahan at the line. Two of four so far tonight. Gets that one. Twenty-two points in the ball game for Eamon Monahan to lead all scorers. Next free throw, also good. Back the other way, it's the Grizzlies in control here. 55-34, 4:20 left to go, fourth quarter. Briones working against that zone defense. 2-3 zone now by Eastmont. They've been man-to-man -man for three quarters and have tried this zone defense maybe to slow this offense down a little bit. And do get the turnover. It's Monahan two-on-one. Shindeli, left-handed layup, no good. Monahan back up and in. That cuts the lead to 19 now, and timeout called by Sunnyside. Three minutes, 51 seconds left to go, fourth quarter. Sunnyside, 55, Eastmont, 36. We're back courtside in 60 seconds. We were in Roseburg in the early 80s. Our oldest son, Dan, was a defensive back, a starter on that team. They set, in fact, became Oregon State champions, setting the first undefeated 14-0 season in Oregon's history. And a lot of people were losing jobs. Friends had left the community. It was a hard time. That football team in companies like Abbey's kept that place alive and the community spirit alive. That's legendary. The agents of Kennedy Real Estate Group are committed to providing the ideal client experience. We believe in the power of relationships. Why? Because we don't just work here, we live here. From the nonprofits we serve, the parks where we play, and the local businesses we support, our team understands the value of living in the Wenatchee Valley. Let's begin your real estate story. Three minutes, 51 seconds left to go in this game. It has been all Grizzlies, even though Eastmont has cut this lead to 19 points. It's been as many as 25 in this game. Sunnyside with the basketball out of that timeout. Three minutes, 40 seconds left to go. Maldonado, top of the key. Back into the ball game is David Ochoa for Sunnyside. It's Maldonado, almost has it stolen away from him by Robles, and it does go out of bounds off of Maldonado, the referee says. And it will be Eastmont basketball. 
So that's a turnover on Sunnyside. Seven now in the ball game, fourth here in the second half. Gallagher to Shindelli. Eastmont needs buckets and they need them quickly here. Tries to find Robles, almost threw it out of bounds. Robles does corral it, gets it underneath to Leonard and he is grabbed on the arm down there. I think this one might be on Maldonado. Let's wait and see. It's not, it's on Aiden Cazares and that's number four on him. Max Garcia also out there playing with four fouls right now. So two players for Sunnyside with four fouls. Free throw on the way by Leonard is good. Leonard has three points in this game. Two in the first and then that free throw here in the second. Referees have a bit of a conference here. Okay, I was right the first time. So it was on Brett Maldonado that foul and not on Aiden Cazares. So Maldonado picks up his third personal. I was actually right, so I'll just stick by that. Here's Leonard at the free throw line. Made his first, trying to hit the second one as well. On the way, and it's good. Now it's a 17-point lead, 55 to 38, as Eastmont is chiseling away, but do they have enough time to do it as we approach three minutes left to go in the fourth quarter? Maldonado. Cazares back to Achoa to Maldonado, double teamed. Cazares, six on the shot clock for Sunnyside. Maldonado, Briones now forced to take that long shot, no good. Achoa with the rebound and a fresh shot clock for Sunnyside. Cazares, turnaround jumper inside the free throw line, gets smacked in the head. And he'll go to the free throw line and shoot two. That foul is on Diego Robles. And that's the eighth team foul on Eastmont. It should say seven and nine team fouls on Sunnyside. Diego Robles, one of two from the line so far tonight. Here's the first one, it's good. Or I should say Aiden Cazares, rather. Foul is on Robles. Cazares now two of four from the free throw line tonight. And 12 points, second one too hard, no good. Monahan high for that rebound and Eastmont back the other way. Down 18 with two and a half minutes left. Monahan one-hander, good. <laughs> a warning because one of the Wildcats touched the ball as it went through the basket, so that's that's natural, you do get a warning call. The next time will be a technical foul. It's a delay of game call is what it is. Here's Maldonado. Brent Maldonado, what a player here for Sunnyside. One of the best in the big nine to Cazares. Back to Maldonado. Whips it far side to Salinas as Sunnyside is content just to eat up this clock and why not? Six on the shot clock again. Maldonado to the basket, hangs up there. Can't get it, Cazares back up, no good. And this time Robles clears the boards for Eastmont. 16 point lead, minute 47 left. Shindeli no good, rebound Cazares underneath. I'm not keeping track of that, but I wish I was. I think Cazares double digits absolutely in rebounds for Sunnyside here tonight. Salinas to Maldonado. Thought about a ridiculous three and then thought better of it. Salinas to Maldonado. Minute 25 left, Cazares, now Briones has it. Maldonado drives, hangs in the air, no good. Rebound is Garcia, and we've got a reach-in foul under the basket. Boy, Garcia's unbelievable jumper for 5'10". He gets up there. Diego Robles picks up his second consecutive foul now as Max Garcia goes to the line. 14 points on the night and has not attempted a free throw. This is his first one tonight. It's off the mark, no good. Back comes Eastmont with a minute 10. Gallagher, why not? Three, good. 56-43. This is as close as Eastmont has been in a long time in this game. Unfortunately, we're under a minute left to go. 
Garcia in some trouble and then gets grabbed on the arm underneath with 53 seconds left. This one will be on Kellen Leonard. That's number four on him. Sends Max Garcia back to the free throw line. Missed his last front end of a one and one. Here's this first one, good. 15 on the night for Garcia. 17 for Brent Maldonado for the Grizzlies. Garcia free throw, good. Back come the Wildcats now, 48 seconds left. Monahan's gonna put up a long three, no good. Kellen Leonard though, there with the rebound, back up and in. 13 point game, 58-45. Monahan gets bumped right in the head by Maldonado. Lob pass down to Garcia on the baseline. He had Leonard beat, and then Leonard had to stick that leg out, and that's gonna be foul number five on Kellen Leonard. Ends up with five points in the ball game. Sure, that's five fouls. Free throw good by Garcia. Leonard comes to the bench and Andy Hobson will check in for him. Andy Hobson, the 6'4 junior. 58-45 with 29.7 seconds left to go in this one. Sunnyside will improve to three and one in league play. Eastmont will fall to one and two. All right, Garcia now with one more. He made his first one. On the way, and it's good. Garcia, four of five from the line here in this fourth quarter. All right, Eastmont with it, wrapping up this one. Gallagher for three. Where has this been all night? Eastmont getting hot now, but too little, too late. 12-point deficit. 13 seconds left, it's Salinas, back to Maldonado. No use fouling now for the Wildcats as they're just gonna let them run this clock out. And that's gonna do it in this game. Our final score here from Eastmont High School, Sunnyside 60 and Eastmont 48. We will take a two minute timeout, come back to look at final game stats and wrap this up right after this. Hi folks, welcome to St. Martin. How can we help you today? Uh, we're looking for a recliner. Okay, right this way. Go ahead and move this chair on the other side. Great, I want that one. I would like that one. That's a great choice. And I want this one as well. Okay. And I definitely want this one. Ooh. You find it at Saint Full service at a low, low price. The newest generation of GMC Sierra pickups offer the most advanced technology, the strongest selection of powertrain, and everything else you need to work hard, play hard, and explore the boundaries of the Wenatchee Valley and beyond. Take a look at the latest, most luxurious and durable trucks on the market. You will see why GMC is not your grandfather's pickup. You want to bet, kid? I believe we've been coming to Abby's for 56 years, isn't it? Yes, yeah. 56 years. Remembering all the events as a family and a community that we spent at Abby's. E excellent and delicious food at an affordable price. We're delighted that we live close enough to be able to be a frequent customer. And we are. And we are. <laughs> In fact, we've got orders to bring home a, a giant pizza when we leave okay. here tonight. <laughs> When the people you serve are your friends and family, you see the world a bit differently. You understand that your survival depends on the health and strength of your relationships. Your word is your reputation, and that doing the right thing is the only way of life that matters. At Confluence Health, we remain humble. Trust is a gift that is earned, a privilege, an honor. And we remain grateful for the trust you place in our hands. 
All right, Grant Olson back courtside with you where the Sunnyside Grizzlies have defeated the Eastmont Wildcats by a final of 60 to 48, even though Eastmont outscored Sunnyside in that fourth quarter by a score of by a clip of 22 to 11. Here's how the scoring shook out. First for the Eastmont Wildcats leading the way, Eamon Monahan with 25 points in the game tonight, four of six from the free throw line. Meanwhile, Reese Gallagher threw in 15 points. He was two for three from the line. Kellen Leonard off the bench with five points, one for one from the free throw line. One point on the night for Diego Robles, one of two from the line, and two points tonight for Adrian Ruffins. The Wildcats, eight out of 12 from the free throw line tonight and committed 11 turnovers. And now for the victorious Sunnyside Grizzlies leading the way, Max Garcia with 18 points, four of five from the line. Brent Maldonado chipped in with 17 tonight. He was four of seven from the free throw line. Also in double figures, Aiden Cazares with 12 points, two of five from the line. Seven points for Jaden Brionis and six points for the freshman Jaden Sines. 10 of 17 from the line for the Grizzlies tonight and Sunnyside committed seven turnovers uh, in the ball game, three in the first half, four in the second. With the win, Sunnyside moves to three and one in league play, while Eastmont drops to one and two. And that'll do it for our broadcast here from Eastmont High School tonight. I want to thank Dan Kuntz and his crew here at the gym, as well as Malcolm Whitehall. We'll call it his crew as well back at the station as Dan laughs, Malcolm. Thank you for watching tonight. We appreciate you being with us on the NCW Life Channel. We have lots of basketball yet to come through the month of January and the first couple of weekends of February. So keep it right here for your home for high school basketball. And that's the NCW Life Channel. Have a great rest of your weekend, everyone, and good night. Thanks for watching tonight's live coverage of local high school sports on the NCW Live Channel, your local TV station. Tonight's broadcast has been brought to you by Abby's Pizza, Biosports Physical Therapy, Clean Connection, Coldwell Banker Cascade, Confluence Health, Dick's Heating and Air Conditioning, Global Car Care, Harvest Valley Pest Control, Highlander Golf Course and Grill, Kennedy Real Estate Group, Les Schwab, Sangster Motors, Save Mart, Together For You, and TC Slingers. This has been a special presentation of NCW Life Channel Sports. We now return you to normal programming already in progress. And the shot, nice. and the shot to the basket.